Pursue Him passionately. Psalm 63 verses 1, 2, and 3. O God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. Because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. One of the things we must develop in our pursuit of knowing God intimately is to pursue Him with passion. That means our mind, our soul is also involved in our pursuit of God. Now we understand that God is spirit and so of course our pursuit of God is primarily a spiritual thing. But then it leaves the impression that therefore it's a boring thing. Therefore, it's not something, you know, we will really enjoy or be excited about or be full of zeal about. But really, when our spirit is so deeply engrossed in God and wanting to pursue, it affects every other part of our being. Like the psalmist says here, he says, God, I want to seek you. He says, my soul thirsts for you. My mind, my emotions are also involved in this pursuit of God. He even says, my flesh longs for you as in a dry and thirsty land. That means this pursuit of God engages his whole person, his spirit, his soul, and his body. And he's consumed with this passion of pursuing God. And he says, God, I want to pursue you as a person in a dry and thirsty land longs for water. That's how I want to pursue you. I long to see your power and your glory. I've searched for you. I'm looking for you because I know that your loving kindness is so much better than life itself. That means there is a sense of uh, pleasantness. There is a sense of great pleasure in just seeking and pursuing God. So for the psalmist here, the pursuit of God is not a dry, dead and boring thing that is uh, uh, something out of ritual, something out of compulsion, something out of just discipline, but rather it is something that involves his passion. It is something that engages his whole person. It, it is something that he is filled with zeal for and, 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 and that he's going after God because he finds pleasure in this pursuit of God. We need to come to that place where for us, our pursuit of God is a delightful thing. It's a pleasurable thing. Our whole being enjoys pursuing God. Let's ask the Lord to help us pursue Him passionately, where we enjoy and delight in the pursuit of God, knowing Him through His Word, through prayer, through worship, to spending time in His presence, that all these activities are not just disciplines, but things that we delight in, that bring us immense joy and pleasure. Let's pray towards that end together. Father, we ask that like the psalmist, our spirit, our soul, our body will come after you, God, will long to know you, will long to understand you will long to engage with you, that our whole being will pursue you, that we will do it with passion. We'll do it because we delight in knowing you. We do it because we find it a joy and a pleasure in knowing you intimately. Work in our hearts and lives towards this end, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.